Calcs. I'm Rick, and today we're going to have a look at how to do scientific notation on the Texas Instruments TI-30X2S calculator. To do this, we'll be using the second function key located here, the reciprocal key with the EE above it located here, and the DRG key with the psi slash ENG key, psi slash ENG above it located right here. All right, to get started, let's say we're given a number in scientific notation and wish to enter it on our calculator. Let's say this 1.5 times 10 to the 7th. Well, to start, we enter the 1.5, and then we use the second function of the reciprocal key, this EE value here. So second function, reciprocal, you see the E up there, and then 7, because this is to the 7th power. And then we hit enter, and this gives us 15 million, which is the same as 1.5 to the times 10 to the seventh. You can also use this for small numbers. Let's say we were given 1 times 10 to the negative fourth, which should be 0 0.001. Well, we go 1. Again, second function, reciprocal. There's our e. And we can use the negative sign this time, negative 4 equals 0 0.001. There we go. We've entered those numbers. But let's say we have the number and want to enter it, want to get the scientific notation. Well, we can use the scientific notation mode in our calculator here. To change modes, we go second function degree key, which brings up this, brings up this menu here. We have flow or floating notation or normal notation, SCI, which is scientific notation, which is what we want, and ENG, which is engineering notation, which we aren't worried about right now. So, one to the right, highlight SCI, and hit enter. You can see SCI at the very bottom of the screen here now, telling us we're in scientific notation mode. So, if we wanted to get 1.5 times 10 to the 7th, and we had 15 million, we could enter that 15 million. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there we go press enter, and this converts it for us to scientific notation. Again, we can do this with small numbers. Let's say we're given 0 0.0001, enter, and it gives us in scientific notation. When we're done using this, we want to remember to put our calculator back in floating notation or normal notation mode. So we go second function, DRG, Go back to FLO, or normal notation, and hit enter. We see the SCI at the bottom has disappeared, and we're back in normal notation mode. So if we enter our point zero 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 one, hit enter, it doesn't change. Alright, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests.